when it comes to health testing, yes, what does that mean for you as a breeder? So German short hairs, at a minimum, you do hips, which you can do through OFA mm -hmm. or pen hip. Right. Um, there's a German system as well, too, you know, okay. where they're actually looking at, at the hip and they're going to rate it, you know, whether it's good Like bad. a European OFA? So yeah, so o OFA, they'll do uh, either a dog's going to fail and they're going to go tell you how bad it is. Right. Um, you'll get a fair, which is still a pass. Mm -hmm. You'll get a good or an excellent. Mm -hmm. And then we do elbows also mm -hmm. on short hairs. We do eyes, so we have an ophthalmologist look, you know, at eyes to make sure there's no um, basically inherited eye diseases uh, right. that the dog could, you know, right. produce. Um, and cardiac, a cardiologist is going to listen to a dog. Where okay. now they're recommending some people do like echoes, echocardiograms on hmm. short hairs, um, and lots of different breeds, you know, just to make sure that there's nothing there that a right. dog could potentially pass on. And then we do genetic testing too. So um, short hairs actually, there's a line that has it's called CD. Um, which is day blindness. Um, really? and that, yeah, and, and a lady years ago, she had a litter of puppies and in the sun, sunlight, the dogs, the puppies were like bumping into things. So they're like, this is weird. Um, and these and are still puppies before they went home yeah, to people. Yeah, that they wow. noticed it. Um, so yeah, they did, you know, obviously research, testing, all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So now it's a, a DNA test that we can do to make sure a dog is clear. So wow. you would need, you know, two carriers to produce it. So right. you basically can get rid of it by not, you know, breeding two carriers together. You know, DM, Von Wildebrandt's, um, you know, there's some other testing that people do right. as well too. So um, LD, which is coat, skin, issue condition, but I'm not sure they have a great marker for that yet. So right. yeah. So But it's amazing where this is going. Yeah. I, I found out when I've got when I got Tagus, I, I never wanted a slick coat. Yeah. Oh. Right. I, if it's supposed to have a beard, you want supposed, a beard. I want yeah. a beard. Yeah. Right. And it's it's not confirmation, but it is kinda. Yeah, it's, it's a coat. The makeup right? of the yeah. dog, which coat is part of it. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember asking this this breeder, I said I want to make sure I have one with the coat, and mm -hmm. they, she started quoting off this FF. Oh, a, like jeans. Jeans, yeah. like they could do a 23 and Me, and says no, yep. this litter of dogs will have furnishings. I'm like, who figured yeah. that out? It's crazy. You have it with the cockers too. Like when we do all the DNA testing, it's really? going to tell you colors that they carry. It's going to tell you how much hair they're actually going to have. Like. It's pretty crazy what they come up with as far as... So you, you could know. maybe see like, uh-oh, this might be too hairy. Yeah. Or not yeah. hairy. Really? Well, we have, like in short hairs, we actually also have a, it's a dilute gene. So the puppies will come out like silver. So where the liver is, they're, mm. they're silver, but you have to have two carriers to produce it. Wow. So they've come up with, you know, a, a genetic. marker, genetic test that you can wow. test your dogs to make sure you're not breeding two, um, you know, di uh, carriers together right. to produce it. So... Yeah, so and it's then, interesting. Sky's the limit as far yeah, as Yeah, I know. It's goes, amazing. So. And I think people just don't know this stuff. They don't. I also think, unfortunately, you will experience a group of people who just think it's not necessary. They think if their dog can hunt and, you know. Got that, okay hips. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. definitely ha has to have good right. hips. That all being said, you can test a dog and have healthy parents and then mm -hmm. something pop up in the woodwork. I right. mean, crap happens, it's genetics, it's just like people too. Right. But I think as breeders, we should be doing our due diligence to make sure that we have healthy dogs that are going to produce healthy right. puppies. You know, that that's, that's a perfect segue. You've segued right into this. <laughs> um, when Yay. people are looking for breeders. Now, yeah. I, I've been around the country, I've met hundreds. Mm -hmm. And I think all of them have the, their heart in the right place. Yeah. If there was a couple little red flags, if somebody was watching this and there's a breeder in their state, wherever they're at, yeah, is there a couple things, I mean, besides the fact that they might be birthing them in a play school pool in the front room, <laughs> which, which I mean, a lot of good first yeah. dogs came out yeah, of Yeah, absolutely. You know, hey, sure I've used pools you, in my day right, too. When so. you started, it was yeah. probably in the house. You, yeah. you didn't oh, yeah. have a, a facility. We, I mean, we whelp, we do whelp our puppies in the house. Oh, you will bring oh. them in? Oh, yeah. Like they're, you got the they're right there. I, yeah, right in the office. That's where the whelping box is. And okay. pull up my little lazy boy chair. And, you know, and I you're... sleep by them for the first three or four days. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Just to make sure. Steve, you know, are you stuck sleeping no. with them too? Are you kidding? He's like snoring in the next. Next yeah. chair. <laughs> did, they, did they make it? Yeah, right. exactly. Be like, Everybody how many, all right over How there? many did you have? <laughs> I get woke up every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, damn dogs. Right. Yeah, I'd be like, I need help. <laughs> so. What about a couple of things that if you if you could say if somebody called you up and said, I'd love to get a dog from you, but I found a breeder and I'm in Idaho. Yeah. 
give me a couple things to look for to be like a red flag. Is there anything like that? Um, I think always ask about health clearances, okay. like as a very minimum, because I think if don't you- Don't be afraid to don't ask. Don't be afraid to ask yeah. and ask for proof too, right? Somebody can say, oh yeah, oh, yeah my dog's x-rayed, but you know, there are websites and it's very easy nowadays to have copies of, of health clearances. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lack of education to ask about health stuff. So right. anybody who contacts me, I'm like, you don't have to buy a dog from me. Right. But ask these questions to make sure there you're you go. getting, you know, a, a good puppy, a healthy puppy, right. and you know, from a reputable breeder. Red flags are uh, okay, maybe a backyard breeder. Uh, That's fine. This guy's Everybody, bought, you know, this everybody's dog. kennels in their backyard. Well, yeah. it is, but in you know, set. they have yeah. two two dogs that they're just the best hunting dogs I've ever had right. in my entire life, and I'm going to have puppies. Right. And so they call themselves a breeder. Right. Okay, have you done your health clearances? And I mean, I'm not opposed to people doing that, but take the right steps to do it, right? right? So work with a breeder and have a mentor, you know, to there teach you, you lines that go well together. Right. Um, you know, maybe health issues or temperament issues or working ability issues, you know, that are- So like those are all questions people shouldn't be afraid to ask. Absolutely not. Just... I, you know, it's a, I, I think it's great when I get an email and people are asking these questions. You'll get lots of emails that are, how much are your puppies? <laughs> and in fact, I had a call from a gentleman here in Michigan, um, mm -hmm. you know, just the other day. And he's, he asked all these questions. I could tell right from the start though. I just kind of got a vibe, like the dog's gonna live in the dog kennel in the backyard. So right. I was already had kind of, I was like, oh, I'm not so sure. And he's like, well, how much do you get for your puppies? And I told him, he goes, you get that much? That's ridiculous. I was like, have a great day, sir. Right. <laughs> so he will be one of those ones right. that I'll end up buying from a backyard breeder. <laughs> yeah, it, from a breeder who doesn't really have this, the standards that holds themselves. Yeah, the and I'm not saying a puppy needs to be highly priced or, I mean, people can price their puppies wherever they want, right. but when you're doing things right, you're investing a lot of money into these oh, yeah. animals as well. Like right. it's not cheap. Testing, health clearances, vet bills, dog foods. I mean, training them. Like, all of that's it. That's another you know? thing yeah. you do that both of you do. There's a lot of people who breed hunting dog breeds yeah. who literally don't hunt them. Right. Yes, there, yeah, there, there is that, that as well, too, or you know, aren't going to offer um, lifelong support of, of a dog, right? They're yeah. going to be like, take your puppy. I don't need to hear from you right. ever again. I want people to stay in contact with me. Right. You know, reach out to to me personally. Text me. Right. Um, we have a, a page on Facebook. Post pictures on there of your of your dog. Stay in contact with us. Yeah. If you need guidance and help with training, that's what we're here for. Like right. that is the signs of somebody who's invested in. I would say, you know, uh, their puppies. Um, also, any puppy that leaves here, mm -hmm. if you cannot keep it for any reason whatsoever, it comes back here. So yeah, so customers need to, the more questions, you welcome the questions, yeah. and obviously. I also urge too, if you live close enough, go visit. Oh, yeah, because 100%. I've unfortunately and seen close some. enough can be a day's drive. If exactly. It takes you a day's drive, come and do yeah. it. Yeah, go worth, see worth where it. your puppies are yeah. being raised, you know, how they're being raised, their condition, Yeah. Um, you know, ask to see parents. I mean, sometimes we don't always have mom and dad both here, you know, if a dog's off being tested or at a dog right. show, you know, but we have, you know, pictures and health clearances and all of that stuff right. and generations of dogs that we can say, okay, this is, you know, kind so of what you can expect. So if your breeder doesn't want to spend endless time on the phone to where you almost say, hey, I got to eat dinner. Right. <laughs> there might be a red flag yeah, there. Yeah, for because sure. Because I find that with trainers and, and breeders that I've met. Yeah. The ones that are, that love to talk about it, yeah. you know they're, they're doing invested, their... yeah. We have one, no, make that two favors to ask you. If you like the content you've been watching, Please hit the like and the subscribe button and wish me luck. We're going grouse hunting.